and welcome. My name is Steve Atkins and this is the fourth in a series of short interviews that we film looking both backwards and forwards at the work of the Java Card Forum as it celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. Today I'm joined by Eric Vettia, Lead Certification Expert at the European Union Agency for Cybersecurity, more commonly known by its abbreviation ENISA. These people are dedicated to achieving a high common level of cybersecurity across Europe. Now, Eric's no stranger to the Java Card Forum. He was previously the technical committee chairman for many years, so he's got an in-depth knowledge of the technology and its benefits. Eric, thank you for joining me today. Great to be here, and you know, thank you for having me. Let's start with a catch-up question. It's been a while since you were the technical committee chairman for the Java Card Forum. So what have you been working on since then? So the, the last time I joined the Java Card Forum was uh, when I was uh, with Oracle, uh, product manager for, for Java Card. Indeed, I've had a few jobs since. So they included in particular a stint at uh, NXP, where I stayed in touch uh, with, with the Java Card Forum through uh, present uh, members like Christian Kirchstetter and Alexandre Frey. But my focus was actually more on uh, IoT processors and on certification. So in 2019, uh, that's when I joined uh, ENISA, you know, the EU Cybersecurity Agency, um, as a certification expert. So here I've been continuing the work I was actually doing at NXP about working on uh, cybersecurity certification, but focusing more on a scheme on cloud services. So. This is not very close say, to, uh, to Java Card, but thanks to my experience with, with Java Card and more generally with Secure Elements, uh, I've been also involved in other schemes that we are developing in NISA on common criteria, but also on 5G, uh, where we work also on the embedded uh, UICC. So actually we are working as a team, so it's very nice you know, to have uh, this experience here and it helps definitely. What is ANISA doing with certification? In 2019, uh, the, the Cyber Security Act uh, has made uh, ANISA a permanent agency in the, in the EU and maybe most importantly has assigned new tasks to, uh, to the agency. One of these tasks is to design uh, European cybersecurity certification schemes. So our role here is to prepare the schemes uh, in collaboration both with the industry and with the member states. So when we're done with that, we actually uh, give the schemes to the Commission that would derive an implementing act and that becomes part of the EU law. Um, the first scheme that the NISA worked with is uh, called EUCC. It's a European scheme for common criteria. I think this one uh, should be quite important for the, the Java Card community since most Java Card products are certified you know, with common criteria. And this scheme will of course be used by at least European chip and card developers, hopefully starting next year um, with the first certification activities. So ENISA will also continue in helping and guiding through the deployment uh, of this scheme and uh, of other schemes that we are working on. How are Java Card uh, certification schemes related to the ANISA scope? Okay, so Java Card is actually not something that we explicitly talk about, uh, but it often is in the background. Um, for instance, many of the Java Card licensees are represented in our working group on common criteria and 5G. And every time we consider examples of certified products, Java Card plot platforms are somehow cited because they are such an important component of the supply chain in you know, smart cards and secure elements. So I'm also quite confident that some Java Card products will be among the first to be certified with both the EU CC and the EU 5G. Maybe we'll be you know, lucky enough to have uh, a Java Card product being the first one to be actually certified uh, there. So we'll see what, what happens. Uh, of course, uh, on my work on cloud services, we are much further from 
Java card and, and then smart cards in general. But it's interesting to see that there's always uh, some kind of a surprise reference that comes up. Every time we talk about access control or authentication, we rely on products and these products rely on, on, on Java card technology. So the link is indirect, but it's always uh, kind of there because the, uh, the technology is so, um, so much present everywhere. Yeah. Final question, Eric. Do you miss the Java Card Forum? Well, yes, I do. Uh, I mean, I'm not missing, you know, um, like the, 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 the interactions because my my work includes many interactions with the industry, uh, with the governments. So, but the cloud community it's very large. Uh, discussions uh, have a tendency to grow political at some points. So what I really miss here is also the um, the lower profile of the Java Card Forum, where you have a limited number of companies to, uh, of, of members. Most of them are not even known to the general public. What we're working on is still remains in the background. Yet we are collaborating on the design of a product that about everyone on the planet is using. So it's like we have the impact, but you know, but with maybe less visibility. And when you are actually working on, you know, defining the next version of a, uh, of a specification, it's easier when you work uh, like this a little bit uh, hidden, I'd say, for, for the technical people. I, I know that from a business viewpoint, this is not always seen as positive, but I was mostly a technical uh, person. Um, also, I would say that I'm kind of missing sometimes the, the, the excitement of the early days of the, of the Java Card Forum back in the end of the 1990s where we were designing the first versions and all our companies were still wondering whether this would work or not. And well, 25 years later and the number of billions of cards being sold every year with, with Java Card, I guess that uh, now they know uh, the answer to that. And uh, I'm very happy to see that the Java Card Forum is still here and that the technology still remains dominant, that uh, there hasn't been another technology coming up uh, and replacing it. And it doesn't look that uh, this will happen in the near future. So yeah, I think the Java Card Forum is a nice adventure, definitely. Eric, thank you very much. So thank you very much for the, for the opportunity and I was very happy to be here. Yeah. That was Eric Vettia from Anissa. My name is Steve Atkins, and this is 25 years of the Java Card Forum. Mm -hmm.